pretty tough ask for the blokes you lost at half time, John? Yeah, well, we lost them early, mate. Lost them in the first probably uh, 15 minutes of the game. So that was always going to put us under the pump. But I thought, uh, especially at half time, what, you know, if we. Bit of possession. We just that start in the second half was uh, the worst thing that could have possibly happen. You know, they scored early, um, and some penalties and possession, and you know, with the, with what we had available to us, that was our, our, our worst nightmare. So it was very hard to recover once they they uh, got a sniff. I understand that Bailey might come back to the side for the second half. Is that correct? He's definitely Achilles. To the extent, you know, it, it's not good though. You know, it's, he's got no power at all in it. And it's a bit, yeah, it's not good. Was it especially disappointing just after how well you've been defending the first half? There was five dropouts there. Uh, well, mate, there's not much you can do, mate. You know, when you, you, you're down on troops and you, you've got, uh, you know, we had no front rowers on the bench. Um, Sorry, no back row. You know, we had a hooker and a forward on the bench. And uh, look, at half time, I, I knew it was going to be a hard ask. You know, with, with, on a five day turnaround, um, with what we had available, I knew it was going to be a hard ask. We had to play well that first 15 minutes. And, and then, uh, you know, it, the longer the game went, I, I thought uh, we would have grew um, if we could have stayed in front of the scoreboard. But once that scoreboard got close and they got in front, it, was, um, it became nearly impossible. John, in the past, um, when refs have ended up on their backsides, everyone's had a laugh about it on the night, but the league have actually taken it very seriously. You know, the blokes who were thought they weren't going to get in trouble have. They, does that concern you at all, that the league might take a dimmer view of it than anyone else did? No, mate, there's, it, there's nothing in that. You know, the, there's a guy racing away, you know, you, you've got to, you know, you, you've got to make an effort to tackle the bloke. And if, you know, two referees out there, if they get in the way, as long as it's not deliberate, there's, there's no way in the world it was deliberate. Yeah, Mitch, um, talking mathematically now, John, is that something you really don't want to be? Oh, mate, no, not really. It, does, it doesn't occupy our thoughts, you know. You, you can't let that worry you. you, know, you there's too many other things to worry about without worrying about mathematics, you know. If we play well and we win footy games, you know, if six points gets us in, well, it gets us in. Proud of the boys where they sort of kept at it, even though you were down on numbers and just that late try. I know that you know, the Storm then scored another after that, but you sort of gave yourself a chance for 10 minutes. Yeah, I am. Um, obviously, we worked our backside off, um, but in the wash up, you know, we touched on that first 10 15 minutes after half time really hurt us in the end. You know, the Storm had the momentum and it was like an avalanche, it was just a matter of hanging on and waiting for it to swing our way. So, uh, you know, we didn't feel like we were out of the game right until, I guess, the very last try. But, you know, we, uh, we showed some positive signs against the Rabbitohs. You know, we never threw the towel in. We fought back. And again tonight, you know, down on some key personnel, we, we still had a, had a decent crack. So, you know, uh, other than the loss, we take some positive signs out of that. Yeah, he, you know, we, the plan was to try and rest him tonight. Um, he, yeah, he's carrying, a, he's carrying a few injuries. He's played a lot of football, uh, but it sort of became impossible, when, you know, with, with the two injuries that we got. You know, Greg Bird as well. You know, he, he had a sort of rib cartilage problem uh, that we probably, I uh, will have to assess how it, how it is. But yeah, in a perfect world, he probably would have come off as well. So you might not have him next week. Oh, I couldn't tell you. I don't, I don't know. So. Tackle Cronk after the Yeah, I think so, yeah. How yeah. disappointing is it just for Bales, especially he's been having you know, such a good year since coming back to the group? Yeah, shattered for him. He's a, um, you know, and shattered for him because you, you know him well and you know what's going through his head, you know. He doesn't, Paul Black doesn't deserve, uh, he, no one deserves injuries like that, but especially him, you know. He's, uh, yeah, he's going to be missed uh, the next three weeks, that's for sure.